The purpose of an artist is to use their art to tell the truths of the time. Like if I was like a 12 year old kid riding my bike up out of nowhere, I just see this big, large thing on the wall, man, and it just hits you. And you don't know what to think about it, but you just think it's awesome. Like that's what I want to create. My name is Sydney G. James. I am a visual artist slash mural painter. I paint black women, and the basis of it is, is really simple. Like, people want black girl attributes, you know, our ass, our lips, our attitude, our this, but nobody wants black girl problems. That's the reality. Like, we are the oppressed of the oppressed. Even Malcolm X said, like, the most oppressed person in this country is the black woman, and it's true. Right now, everything that I'm doing is going back to, you know, the African diaspora, the textures, how that trip to Ghana made me feel and how I still feel. And I'm really trying to find myself in all of these new pieces. Like, who am I? My name is Max Sansing from Chicago, Illinois, Southside, and I am a artist and a muralist. I think everybody kind of sees themselves as like a superhero in a sense in their own world, and uh, they always have like this unlocked potential. And so uh, I like to do work that kind of you know chimes in on that. And I use a lot of different uh, symbols in my work to kind of get that point across. No one's really telling you to be an artist where I'm coming from, especially people of color, because it's just kind of like, you know, access is kind of limited, or not necessarily they're perceived to be limited. And um, I think a lot of times that we kind of operate where we go where we're comfortable at, and a lot of times we got to kind of step out of that to kind of get where we need to go in terms of accessing the knowledge because it's not just going to sit in front of us and a lot of times it's definitely not, you know, in the places where we are. I was up on a scaffold, like I was probably at the highest level, and a young woman um, made a wrong turn down the street where I was, she was trying to go somewhere else and she made this wrong turn and she saw me. She had a five-year-old daughter in the back seat, also named Sydney. They got out and the way that Sydney looked at me was just so unbelievably like hopeful, like just like you're up there. It's so important for young girls, women, babies to see me up that high because often we're taught, don't, don't do this, you might fall. Don't do this, you might fall, which really means don't do this, you might fail. Do what's gonna make you safe. And it's not just my work that gives the message, it's the act of me working that gives the message also. We're all out here, you know, you don't always have to just see one you know, representation of people. And there is no default look of a person. You know, it's, it's humans, you know? So I like to put a lot of humanism in my work. People say it's hard for folks to attain wealth in America, but a lot of times your wealth is your culture. And, you know, while people are trying to take it from you, that means it's a, it has a value to it. And I think we need to kind of you know, enhance that value and build upon it. I feel like that's real important. We are labeled as loudmouth, flamboyant, too much. You're too this. It's too much ass in those jeans. It's, you're too loud. You're why are you wearing that? It's too, 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 too. So my paintings now is like, you know what? You damn right. We are too much. But I want it to be known that it's okay. 